Hi everyone, my name is Amy Logan and I am the author of the children's book series, A Girl with a Cape. So I'd like to read this one. It's the first in my series. It's called A Girl with a Cape, The True Story About the Superhero in All of Us. And I came up with the idea for this book because one day I was sitting around and the idea of a superhero popped into my head and I started thinking about what superheroes do. Now, of course, some superheroes fly, some are really super fast, some like, you know, they go around shooting spider webs out of their wrists. They get rid of the, the bad guys, right? But ultimately, superheroes make the world a better place. So let's go ahead and read this story to find out why she is a superhero. Does she fly? Does she, what does she do? So let's go ahead and read it. A Girl with a Cape, the true story about the superhero in all of us. Can someone so small make a difference at all? Can someone like you make the world seem brand new? I'm not sure you know this, but I tell you it's true. It's a story of a superhero, of a kid just like you. So sit back, bundle up, take a breath, <gasps> let it out. <sighs> a girl with a cape is what this is about. Once upon a time, there was a girl with a cape. Well, not so much a cape, but a scarf that she tied. But it felt like a cape because she felt super inside. The girl knew something that most never do. She could change the world. She knew that to be true, but didn't know what or how. Just, hmm, there's more. Which is why every day the cape she wore. Want to know what happened on Monday? On Monday, she woke up refreshed and bright-eyed, ready to go, the scarf she tied, brushed her teeth, ate her breakfast, her day ready to start. Then said, Mom, I love you with all of my heart. Now, what she didn't know is Mom felt pretty beat. Sometimes moms feel that way when they're always on their feet. Mom was so tired and wanted to go back to bed. But the I love you filled mom's heart, so she did this instead. She baked a cake, went to the store, bought stuff for dinner to cook some more. She loved on the cashier who was ready to quit. And that sparked a smile that had never been lit. The cashier was promoted for helping with care. Customers came far and wide to shop there. And all of the guests left the store feeling great. All from the I love you from the girl with the cape. On Tuesday, the day started just like the last, a kiss and a kind word to mom as she passed. The girl went out searching for something so grand to make the world better is what she had planned, something so big that would make her feel tall, to make a big difference from a girl so small. Because although she was little, she knew there was more. And in case Tuesday was the day, her tight scarf she wore. Do you want to hear more of what she had in store? On Wednesday, she helped wash the dog head to tail. She thanked the mail carrier for bringing the mail. She made a nice note for the neighbor next door. She held the door open for a kid at the store. She said, please and thank you. And that's a nice hat. And all of a sudden, no sooner than that, the kind words didn't stop. They continued to go on. They traveled to the next guy, the next one, and so on. Look, she's telling her friend, you are a great friend. Well, that made him happy, so he told his mom, you're the best mom. That put mom in a good mood, so mom said to the neighbor, would you like to join me for lunch? And thanks for helping me, and I think you're great, and you look so pretty today. And the words kept going and going and going. But... She didn't see any of this magic take place. To her, it was normal to put a smile on a face. So, on Thursday, she started to question the cape. Hey, cape, what difference do you make? I still have no powers, I'm no superhero. What have I done that's a big fat zero? Nothing, I tell you, nothing at all. I can't make a difference, I'm just way too small. And look at her, she's so sad. She feels like she doesn't matter. She feels like she's not important and she can't do anything super. Well, just then, mom came in to settle her down. Her sadness was sad, a big old sad frown. 
And mom said, I heard what you said and it's so not true. The world is much better and it's because of you. Look, the dog is now happy and smells even better. The mailman whistles when bringing us letters. The people at stores hold open the doors and that's just a couple of things, but there's more. My heart is so full from the things that you say. You tell me you love me and that makes my day. You are a superhero. Your words are your cape. When you say kind things, it makes people feel great. And do you want to know something more that's outrageous? Your kind words and actions are truly contagious. What you say matters and travels for miles. Your one little sentence brings hundreds of smiles. Now that's a superpower. Your words, what you say, you have the power to brighten a day. Yes, you are the biggest difference maker of all. You may think you're small, but your words make you tall. Your heart and your smile, you don't need a cape. Your actions and kindness, those things make you great. So now that you know that your powers are true, tell me, sweet darling, what next will you do? And that, my friends, is the end of the story. Thank you so much for listening. You can get the book right here below at gotyourcape.com. You can get the books. There's free shipping going on right now. And, uh, and also, on the back of all of my books, you get the audio book included. So when you scan this little QR code, it's an audio of me reading the story to you. Um, so I hope you enjoyed the book. Oh, one other thing. A lot of people say, well, how come she doesn't have a name? Because she doesn't have a name in this story. And the answer is because she could be anybody. Because was her superpower flying around? No. Was her superpower being super fast or shooting webs out of her wrist? No. Her superpower was kindness. It was all those kind things that she chose to do that trickled down and kept going and going and going. And we have that same power. And you'll notice I'm wearing the same scarf that she's wearing as a cape because you can get this with the book. It's your very own superhero cape. You can fold it in half and then tie it around you like this. And now you've got your very own superhero cape, just like the one a girl with a cape wears. So again, thank you so much for letting me read this story to you. Stay kind, stay super, stay healthy, and um, the world needs you. Thanks so much, you guys.